To monitor material flows, we are required to use the various datasets mentioned earlier and many more. An example of how we monitor material flows is given in this slide. This graph explores global metal production. It is very interesting to project the number of production of industrial metals such as iron against minor and critical metals used in new technologies. It instantly becomes obvious why one of our key concerns is supply, as some of the minor metals are only produced in tens of tons and often as a byproduct of other metal production streams. This information is then used to balance supply against demand and quantify potential gaps which may have impacts on manufacturing and technology development. As mentioned earlier, data are not always available. For example, we might have global production statistics for natural graphite, but we cannot tell without further analysis how this is distributed into different markets or what the production of synthetic graphite is. The impacts of data gaps are significant as decisions made by industry and government are only as good as the data available. If data uncertainty is high, we then end up with models and analysis, for example supply and demand scenarios or identification of risks associated with critical raw materials in which we have low confidence. Unfortunately, industry and policymakers often use this to make decisions which could affect supply chains and global markets. For example, if there is no robust understanding of the entirety of the cobalt supply chain, then all the industries associated in one way or another with that commodity are making decisions based on weak data. This may result in supply issues. Similarly, if we underestimate production, this can have direct impact on commodity prices with knock-on effects on the overall supply chain. Geopolitics, trade agreements, and often resource conflicts are based on the knowledge supported by underpinning data. Weak data results in weak decision making. It is critical that the fundamental importance of data reporting is acknowledged globally and that an agreement is in place for its implementation. Ideally, we require data availability, transparency and sharing. Of course, Systems of reporting, for example for trade statistics, are in place and they have procedures for standardization and interoperability. However, for critical raw materials, they are poor and not fit for purpose. Large-scale global initiatives that encourage the transparency of the extractive industry, such as the Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, the Kimberley Process and the various responsible sourcing initiatives are a good springboard to enhance data availability. They highlight the importance of global data that are accessible to all. In principle, there are four key qualities to mitigate against poor data. These are good systems for collection and reporting of data, quality control, data harmonization, and interoperability. This can only be achieved through legal frameworks at both national and international levels.